Hi, welcome back. Episode, oh goodness, 11 or 12. I don't even remember. It's been a while. Um, sorry I didn't get up yesterday. My plan is for Sunday at four o'clock, so I'm working on being regular. And part of that is making sure that I have strategies that work for me to keep on top of things and get things done. I uh, put a video up on TikTok saying, you know what? Maybe if you've got ADHD and I've got ADHD, we've got reasons for having a difficult time getting things done, but if you want to have a job and get paid dollars, you're still going to have to get the thing done. Somebody said, hey, how about a strategy instead of just suck it up like a boomer? Funny thing is, I'm not quite a boomer, but that's okay. Uh, so here's my strategy. One of the strategies that I use is a bullet journal. I'm not even like super, super good at all of the strategies and techniques that they describe, but I want to show you my bullet journal. See if I can switch this around. Oh, I don't think I can switch it while I'm in the middle of a video. Tragic. Well, here we go. Here's my bullet journal. And you can see I've got a month at a glance on the left. Or is it the right? Because it's inverted. Oh, so much meta talk. And then on the other side there, you've got days and you've got, let's see, scheduled blocks because I'm a teacher. And I've got Sunday and Saturday at the bottom there. I've got the days and I've got slightly different colors to grab my eyes. And when I finish something, I cross it off. Or if I don't finish it, I'll move it to the next day. Um, oh, I've also got lists of songs here for the rehearsal order for the choirs that I run, which I've mentioned a few times. What else is on here? Um, some things that I want to sell, uh, possible trip that I'm going to go to Calgary, Oh, I got to fix my smoker is on there. This is a little older. This is this past March. I ended up getting a new smoker instead. And yeah, plans for classes, just vague outlines. And oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then I'll often check it off if it's done or I'll move it to the next day. There's a lot of videos online about techniques for bullet journaling, but um, using a list specifically, if I can use a list and say, I got that done and then cross it off. Man, it's so great because then I get a little dopamine ping because I did a thing. Um, sometimes I even go back after I've accomplished something. Let's say I went for a run in the morning. I didn't even write it down. I'll write it down and cross it off right away, partially so I can look back. I've got a little record of the things that I accomplished um, and partially because I knew it was on my mental list, but it, I find that a bit dangerous. So I try to write things down all the time and it's okay if I don't get it done that day. I'll just move it along. Um, there's a thing online called Third Way Man. I recommend it. Not sponsored by anybody yet, but thirdwayman.org uh, has this really interesting approach and a, basically a class on how to how to get stuff done um, that uh, I think is probably really cool. I haven't taken that class, but um, some of the strategies that he talks about are just write down three things on a list. Just do three things. Um, and so... I think that's important too. So here, the first strategy is write down lists. And the second part of that is make a small list. And then once you've done one or two things and you've crossed them off, um, then write down something else. But the best part about having just one or two things and, and a list, you can just carry it around and be like, okay, um, I think that I forgot what I was doing. Oh, look, it's right here. And you've got an external visual guide to what you were trying to do and then you won't be visually distracted because I bet you, uh, certainly for me, if I don't have a visual cue, I'm going to wander around my house, I'm going to lose my keys, I'm going to put them down halfway through searching for the tool I needed for the task and then I'm like, where's my keys? Where are my keys? Um, and I'm not going to remember where I put them because I put them down without thinking about it and I didn't put them back where they belong. So then I have to like spend time searching for my keys. Uh, because, you know, I was trying to remember what I was doing. But if I've got my list, I leave my list in one spot and then I come back to it and I work really hard not to let myself get distracted. And I'll even talk out loud and say, no, no, back to what you were doing. I've been building a fence lately. So I'm like, okay, I've got this task. This part of the fence is what I'm working on right now. And then I'll cross it off. Some days I'll go gather firewood. I'll put firewood on my list. If I don't get to it that day, I'll just move it to the next one. I've got a little symbol for that to move it to the next day, and then I'll write it down again. And there's no hard feelings if I don't get something done. Um, I mean, if I have a deadline, then I have to, you know, know about it, and I have to abide by it. Another benefit, actually, of writing down things on a list, and the bullet journal itself, actually, if I 
um, have to make the dates and you'll see here, I've made all of the lines myself and you can customize it. I'll show you another page here. Um, here's a, a current page. So I've got like different colors and I've got some pencil. And I've got empty, empty days for next week. And I've got my plans for this week. When I sit down and I write down the dates and the names of the day and my block schedule for school, plus some things I want to do after school, uh, I guess that's a bit of mindfulness where I'm thinking about what's coming up. So I'm actually not just creating a visual list for my external version of myself, but I'm creating internal pathways about what I'm looking forward to during the week. Um, not I'm looking forward to doing, but just what I'm imprinting on my mind, creating neural pathways about what I have to get done or want to get done. So that's another benefit of the bullet journal. Look at that. I've got like two products I've been name dropping, bullet journal and third way man. No sponsorships yet, but you know, who knows one day, maybe anyway, I'm, I'm past my five minute mark. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if these are at all helpful, uh, please share with people, you know, and care about who might benefit from this. All right. Thanks.